Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel talk shows. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The popular star also ripped the producer of the talk show for being worried about her behavior on the talk show. On Monday's show, Whoopi and her co-hosts discussed a new dating show called Naked Attraction, which is streaming on Max. The show is about contestants choosing dates based on their naked bodies. People actually want to see this. Apparently, Whoopi, 67, asked. Sunny Hostin, 54, shared that she and her husband, Emmanuel, binged all eight episodes at once and became obsessed with it. Meanwhile, Anna Navarro said she never saw the show, but just from the clip, she thinks it is worse than the series Naked and Afraid, which airs on Discovery. This is like naked and well-lit, she said. Whoopi interjected and said, naked and well-hung. Anna, 51, made a shocked face, and the crowd gasped and yelled, Who? I know where the line is, Whoopi told the audience. Anna asked where the line was and Whoopi said that it's not here. Ring it and Sarah Haynes, 46, then went on to say that she would never do the show because it would make her uncomfortable. And she added that some parts of the body are detractive and the male and female reproductive organs are two of them. There were some really pretty penises in that show, Sunny admitted. As the women began to talk over one another, Whoopi sat in silence and looked out to the audience. Once the topic became too NSFO, she rang the small bell in front of her to control the conversation. The crowd laughed and Sarah reached over to hug Whoopi. Alyssa Farah Griffin, 34, then shared that she feels comfortable naked if she is in the right position, not just standing straight like they were on the show. Whoopi then rang the bell three more times. She then turned to the producer and asked, I just want to say, you were worried about me. Their producer, Brian, nodded his head before they went back to the conversation. Oops. This is not the first time the View hosts have gone off on a raunchy tangent. Last Thursday, Whoopi sat with her co-hosts, Alyssa, Joy Bihar, Anna, and Sunny to discuss recent events. She brought up a new docuseries called The Supermodels that is streaming on Apple TV+. The show follows world-famous models, including Cindy Crawford, Naomi Campbell, Linda Evangelista, and Christy Turlington, and their experiences in the modeling and fashion industry. In an episode of the series, Cindy brought up her past relationship with actor Richard Gere. Whoopi said, Apparently, she said, when you're young, you're willing to mold yourself around the person you're with. Is this true? Joy then told a story about her friend who was in a relationship with a man and how she faked being interested in things he liked. Eventually, the two got married and she stopped pretending to like the same activities. Later on, the woman found tapes of her husband's therapy sessions where he said mean words about her. The point of my story is, don't fake it. It doesn't work, Joy said. Sunny was the next to share her opinion on the topic. I believe Cindy Crawford. She was also married to Richard. If Richard Gere wanted me to become some sort of Buddhist yogi, I think I probably would do it. I've pretended to do a lot of things. Joy questioned Sunny. Did you really? Absolutely. Joy cut in with a NSFW comment and asked the crowd, pointing to Sunny, Don't you think she fakes orgasms? Tell me, do you? Sunny joked, Well, I don't have to, Joy. I'm one of the lucky ones, which made the audience and hosts have their jaws hanging open. Whoopi then chimed in, You can't unhear this. You can't unhear anything you've heard today. It'll be with you the rest of the day.